Problem number 22, we have an inequality that we need to solve. So we have 1 over x minus 1 needs to be greater than or equal to 3 over x. So what's important to note here is that you can't cross multiply when you're dealing with inequalities because you don't know if x or x minus 1 is negative or positive, and that would change the inequality sign depending. So you can't multiply both sides by a variable. Instead, what we have to do is just subtract one of these over and get a common denominator. So we would have 1 over x minus 1 minus 3 over x is greater than or equal to 0 by just subtracting 3 over x over. And now we can get a common denominator here. So to get a common denominator, we need to multiply the first one by x. So we'll have x minus. This one we would need to multiply by x minus 1. So we have the 3 that's there times x minus 1. And this is all over x times x minus 1 by getting a common denominator. So now all we need to do is simplify the numerator. So if we distribute all that appropriately, x minus 3x will give us negative 2x. And then we'll have minus 3 times minus 1, which would be plus 3. So that's all over x times x minus 1. And this has to be greater than or equal to 0. So now, once you have one large fraction and an inequality, now this just becomes go to the number line and set up all of your things like that. So we need to put everything on the number line that would make this either 0 or undefined. So the denominator is 0 when x is equal to 0 or when x is equal to 1. So we need to figure out when is the numerator equal to 0. So the numerator would be equal to 0 when x is equal to 3 over 2. <coughs> Excuse me. So 3 over 2 in here would give us minus 3 plus 3. So that would work there. So we have one more thing if x is equal to 3 over 2. So now we just need to check ranges in each one, or check numbers in each range. So if we plug in a negative number for x, so the top here is going to be positive because we plugged in negative times negative gives us positive, plus 3 is positive. These, both of these numbers on the bottom are going to be negative. So we have negative times negative on the bottom, which would be positive. So everything here is going to be positive, and that's what we want. All right, what about something in between 0 and 1, like, say, 1 half? Well, if we plug in 1 half, the top is still going to be positive. X is certainly going to be positive. But this is going to be negative, so we have positive, positive, and negative. So that gives us a negative. And you can see that the rest here is going to follow the multiplicity rules. So we're going to have positive and finally negative <clears throat> uh, at the end. So we wanted this to be greater than or equal to 0. So the last thing we need to do is what happens at all of the points that are on the number line. Well, 0 and 1 make the denominator equal to 0, which is bad. We can't have that. So these must be open circles. 3 halves makes the top equal to 0, and since this is greater than or equal to, that's fine. So this would be a closed circle. So now we just need to write our intervals that are positive and include those endpoints accordingly. So we have negative infinity up to 0, parentheses, because we can't have 0. And we have from 1 to 3 halves with a bracket on 3 halves because that one was a closed circle there. So that gives us then answer choice C.